Hello from Guitar Gallery, my name is Heinrich. Today we have a beautiful instrument. Small instrument, but it does a lot. Sure. To fill, how can I say, the sound shoes of this one. Sure. I'm going to chat about the wood now, but the volume that you have on this ukulele and the balance. And it's so tight. I played with it for a while now. I like this whole dark look. First of all, the black saddle, the strings that it came with, I need to read up on those. But everything sounds so tight and controlled. It's not all over the show whatsoever. Let me start with the tuning pegs. So it is a bit hard to turn, but obviously you want that because with the ukulele, certain ukuleles, it's super cheap as well. The string. The tension is so high on this short scale length as well that it pulls <laughs> the tuning peg out of tune. This, you don't have that problem whatsoever. Look at that black, pretty tuners. The whole little ukulele is, uh, well, basically they call it a Martin Zero Sinker Mahogany. So Sinker Mahogany means that it is wood they retrieved from the bottom of a river. In this case, it was the Belize River. So... I don't know the exact process, but that wood was then used to build this beautiful instrument. The back, the sides, the top, everything is made from that wood. The price is expensive, but it's that wood, obviously, that gives you, first of all, the price and then this beauty. This is an investment piece, first of all. It's just amazing to look at. It's really well made. It sounds incredible. It doesn't have any electronics. You don't want to tamper with the sound whatsoever. This needs to be recorded with microphones. If you look at the back, you have that gentle arc around there. The same as what you have with a bit more dreadnought guitars and so forth. You don't often see it in this small scale. Look at the grain. It's amazing wood though. I wish you could smell it as well. It's just... It feels so sophisticated. Like uh, a lot of people tend to dismiss the ukulele as, how can I say, starter or a kid's thing or whatever. But with this, you have so much sophistication. That brightness is controlled. Instead of having that super sharp shine that some of the ukuleles have, which is just like getting annoying after a while. I've played with this for about 20 minutes now and it does not get sharp. It does not get overbearing. Let me play you a few things. I'm going to start with gentle finger picking stuff, just like strums, so you can listen to how the chords ring, how the notes are just so well balanced. Even with this high, with the G, I tend to play on my ukulele with a low G. But listen. Tuning is so spot on. 
everything on a small scale. This is like the micro machines of guitar, obviously, but then it's so difficult to construct it exactly like it should be. And these 20 frets, I just played everywhere, and the intonation is incredible. It's so well made. The little inlays, I can't see anything that's out of place. The headstock is so pretty. It's more like a it's more like a goth design of guitar or ukulele design for me. Really pretty. You have the slide round here. The binding is kept very, how can I say, minimalistic. No frills added due to the fact that I want to highlight this amazing wood that I used. Um, I would obviously say go and read up on the wood that they did use, especially in our modern day society where everything is about sustainability, but you want history. That's why history, I think, is so important these days. If you can own a piece of history in this modern plastic ukulele world, that'll be incredible. I'm going to use a plectrum. You get a lot of singer-songwriter kind of style strumming vibes where you want this to really pronounce itself. This is quite, um, yeah, it's those shiny plectrums that you get a lot. It doesn't have a, a silky feel, it's very gloss, but it really brings out the brightness in this case. Remember, there you have a lot of bite, there you have a lot of roundness. So use that to your advantage. All right. Let's take it down a notch and see if we can keep the strumming very nice and low. responsive to dynamics it is quite unusual obviously I think this is a due to the fact that it's such a premium instrument but it will open your eyes hmm, with little ukulele instruments if you have any doubts about this thing's sound please come and try it out right I'm gonna do some let's say a bit more dirty strumming I'm gonna use my nails you're gonna get that reiki kind of sound quite a bit see what it does with a bit of a punch as well now due to the fact that this is not um, there's no pickup in here you're not going to get a very intense boom on my ukulele I have um, obviously I can plug it in and then I get a nice thud but you can use your rhythmic ability here as well listen much fun to play you can't put this down it's really incredible so have a look at martin ukuleles they've been building them since 1929 the tenors they started building ukuleles in 1916 
and from what I've heard as well, at a time it was their main instrument that they've built. So it's not just a gateway to the guitar, this is really an instrument on its own that deserves to be explored. 